Let's give it up for our next TED Like Talk. So I'm in the design industry for almost 19 years now. Started as a graphic designer, now a product designer and a designer turned entrepreneur, working on my own startup as well. Okay. So not taking more time on introduction. So I know the house is full of designers. So how many of you want to be a true product designers? True product designers. Okay. Great. Okay. If just designing for screen is enough to be a product designer, we need to think beyond the screens, right? What is that exactly, thinking beyond the screen? So we have a boundary when we think inside the screen. So we have applications and technologies, yeah, fine. When we slightly move out and start seeing beyond the screen, it's infinite, it's everywhere. What to focus to be a true product designer? What exactly we need to know or what exactly we need to uh, practice with? or acquire knowledge on. So I come up with a framework called Leaders Framework, a roadmap for a true product designer. So Leaders Framework to be a true product designer. Okay. So today I'm going to share my experience of defining this framework, what goes into it, and let's get into the details of a Leaders Framework. Okay. So I'll lead with initiative. So, are we designers or creators? We are? We are? Sound you? Creators. We are solving real world problems. Feel proud of it. Okay? We are a passionate designers who are solving real world problems, not just doing a 9 to 5 job return are given to us in the form of BRDs or PRDs. We are creators. Lead with that initiation. Be a passion-driven product designer, not just doing any task for KPIs or annual review. Okay, not for that. So be a passionate designer. Lead everything, whatever you do with your own initiative. Okay? And E for embrace the tech start. Avatar, we all know. Okay? And we all know James Cameron has waited for almost 15 years for the technology to come in. Am I right? Do we have that luxury to wait for years to technology to come in to design our product? Do we have that luxury? How many of you hear this word from your developer? Oops, we can't make this design. How many? Everyone, right? Yeah, it's me. Okay. Yeah, we are getting into it. The problem is we don't embrace the tech stack. We are not understanding the capabilities of the tech stack in which our product has been built on. We are not understanding how the, what is the structure of our product. What is the database structure, what data are coming in, how APIs are communicating. And we are not expected to write codes. But we need to know the knowledge or understanding of how the technology is working behind our screen how communication is happening between the database or with other services. So how to gain this? Do you want to go and learn uh, ReactJS or NativeJS or Angular or any tech stack? No. Just have a coffee with your developer. Discuss with him. Ask him questions. What is the tech stack we are using? How it is communicating? What are the data is coming in from a microservices? Have a chit chat with them. Have a cross-functional communication with them. That's enough. Understand the technology. We are not expect to code, but understand the technology. That will help you to develop or design screens which can be developed, okay, which can be usable. So, try to embrace the technology for what you work on. So, design for today's technology, not for tomorrow. Then, A for align with the industry broaden your design perspective. How many of you have the domain knowledge of the industry you work for? So we work for different industries. We work for e-commerce, we work for hospitality, we work for healthcare, we work for fintech. So do we really have the domain knowledge of that industry? We know how the whole industry works. 
Do we have that knowledge? In any place? We don't have that. Okay? We need to, we need to understand each and every aspect of the whole domain. Even it can be a Kirana shop, how products are coming to the shop, how he is maintaining his stock or his inventory, how the product is being sold, how he is maintaining the finance. Let's get the knowledge on the industry. Okay, so what we need to do, just talk to your friends, talk to your family members. They might be a doctor or might be an engineer or might be a businessman or he's running his own uh, MSME or a manufacturing industry. Talk to them, understand how that industry works. It may be out of your domain, but try to understand that. Okay, understand how the industry works. So by that way, your perspective towards the problem will change. Okay, just by reading the PRD and BRD, understanding the problem, we won't do it. And we don't have the luxury to get down in the street and do a lot of research to understand what the real problem is. But when you understand the domain, that will give you a different perspective of the problem what you're trying to solve. Okay, try to do that. It may be away from your industry or it may be a different of what you are doing, but acquiring knowledge is always helpful. Okay, try to connect with multiple industry and try to understand how the whole industry works in. And domain knowledge transforms your designers from just an order takers to problem solvers. Hmm. Then D for decode your business model. We can build great products, awesome products, but if the product didn't bring in money, then it is like operation success, patient die. Okay. Understand the business model of your product how the company is making revenue out of it. If it is a free product and they are making revenue out of advertisement, try to uh, figure out of how organically you will embed advertisement into your product design. If they are into a different model, try to understand what business model they are into it, how they are making revenue, and try to include that revenue part of it. Okay, so that's the B, decode your business model. And See, we are designers, we are creating solution and it's our job to advocate our solution and sell the solution to other stakeholders. Am I right? And we are struggling on this, right? Always. Yeah. It's been a heated argument and someone will suddenly say, hey, change the blue color to red color, move this pixel from right to left, change this image, I don't like this. Things will happen. So, how to solve this? Okay. Try to be that guy who everyone feels you are a part of their team. Designers are not a part of design team. Designers are part of everything. You are the part of a development team. You are the part of the product team, marketing team, even with the business team. Okay? And have a cross-functional relationship with them and try to put their shoes on you and you identify that you are a part of their team and you are solving their problem. Okay, don't keep yourself as a separate designer or a design team. Okay. Engage with cross-functional team. Okay. And reflect on user insights. Okay. So, how many of you agree with this? Raw data never lies. How many? Everyone, right? People might get biased, but raw data never lies okay and we need to in this we need to be caution whether the data is right or not if the data is right then it is true so make your design decisions based on the data what you get in or the instincts what you get in rather than instincts we are designer we are artist okay we love to our design but keep yourself away from your design okay look it as a solution not as a design okay and validate your design with data not with instincts or not with aesthetics. Okay, so reflect on user insights and try to understand how to read through the Google Analytics, how to read through um, uh, a mix panel or amplitude. Okay, how to read the data from that or how to make uh, insights from that. Look on that perspective as well. So reflect user insights. Okay, and finally, study and explore continuously. Okay. In learning, that is not good or bad, okay? Everything is learning is acquiring knowledge, okay? Explore things. 
explore out of your boundaries. Now any new technology comes in or new things comes in, go give it a try, try to explore and think of how you can include it in your product or building your solution. Because we are not designer, we are all solutionists. Okay, so uh, maybe we have uh, under a different tagline as UX designer or product designer, but actually we are solutionist solving problem. So when it comes to solve problem, then we can't tag ourselves to one domain. Okay, we are open to all. We need to think on how to solve problems with different perspective. It can be a simple change in the product. No need to have any UX design. It can be solved with a small backend fix or it can be done with an, um, uh, a copy change. It can be anything. So we should not think just as a designer. Okay, to think versatile, you need to acquire different domain knowledges. Okay, keep study and explore continuously. So this is a framework I come up with these long 18 years of experience, okay, where I escalate myself from graphic designer to animator to a pro UX designer, product designer, now an entrepreneur. This helps me a lot. So I'm sharing my own experience, okay. The framework is lead your work with initiative, embrace the tech stack, align with the industry, acquire domain knowledge, decode the business model, how your company is making revenue, try to uh, make your design align with that, Engage with cross-functional team, represent you as a part of the team rather than being a part of a design team. Okay, engage with your uh, uh, complete cross-functional team. Reflect on data, try to get insights from the data and make your design decisions align with the data. And when we started into problem solving or design or a product designer, it's like never ended learning journey. We need to keep on learning and do it with passion. Okay. So this is the framework to be a true product designer, which I came up with my 18 years of experience in it. Okay. I think I forgot one more thing. Okay. One last thing, a very important thing. Okay. So creating a usable design is our day in and day out job. We are doing it. Okay. If we do all that, then we'll be seen as a one. Uh, contributor who just doing his job, okay. But change the perspective, think like an entrepreneur, own your design like a boss. Add these two factors to your design. Think whether your design makes profit, brings profit to your company and can it be scalable. Get this to it, then everyone will see you like Bahubali. No more uh, Rana, you will be seen as Bahubali. Okay. So, any questions on the framework? So, my startup is Taxi Na. Okay. So, we are from Chennai. Uh, we want to bring in Taxi Anna as Taxi Na. Okay. We are redefining the ride hailing system, ride hailing for India, especially for India. Okay. And we are the first true SaaS based ride hailing solution for India. So, we are already in. Uh, Salem, which is a B-town in uh, Tamil Nadu, and by 2nd of October, we are launching it in Chennai as well, and soon we will hit Bangalore. Yeah. Thank you. Yep, so, I, I have a question. I would, uh, yeah, please. So, uh, I have a question regarding this A, right, where you mentioned align with industry. Yeah. So, normally, uh, designers to have a question, right? In the service space industry, they have to switch between the domains, probably sometime HR, sometime finance and account, sometime automobile. So at that time, what is your advice to the designers, you know, that how to switch that brains from one domain to another if they really want to, you know, understand the industry, their brain will be chalked up, right? So what is your advice on that? Okay, fine. So so you a designer for the company you work for or for you? For ourselves. For yourself, yeah. right? Then acquire knowledge for you, not for the company. Go out, okay, learn about how automobile industry work. Learn about how a small Kirana shop works. Learn about how a hypermarket work. Learn about how a supermarket work. Understand or acquire knowledge on that, okay? Nothing wrong in acquiring knowledge. So understand, see, go talk with your uncle who might be a doctor, understand how a hospital works, okay? And there may be a pharmacist in your uh, family, understand how the pharmacy works, 
just just a 10 minutes 15 minutes talk will give you more insights of how the industry works got it so basically okay. just go and talk to yeah talk to people anyone knowledge yeah yeah so cool. so you want to be a designer or a solutionist i am already a solutionist uh, then you need to <laughs> okay thanks yeah thank you so much well morgan so i just want to uh, dedicate this last slide to my grandfather uh, we missed him last monday so he is a great inspiration and he worked until his age of 82 okay. so it's, it's a good loss for me but this guy is the inspiration for whatever i do even anything